Hey guys, Quest for Vape over here doing a juice review for Turnt Vape Co. This is a review and it's also a story. Uh, the story is Turnt Vape Co. started out as just a guy named Greg who worked at a vape shop. He's been a vapor for a couple of years. He was DIYing his own juice and uh, just making it for him and his friends. It got popular. People wanted his juice. He started selling it in 60 milliliter bottles like this. I've been a customer for a couple of months buying the juice. And um, they started selling it in the shop Sunrise Vapor in Seaford, New York, where he works. Um, it started to grow. It started to really get a following of loyal clients that, you know, customers who wanted the juice flavors. Other shops started picking it up wholesale and selling it retail in, in their shops locally. Um, it got to a point where the owner of Sunrise said, hey, wait a second. This is getting kind of big. We got to stop, revamp, and do it the right way because... Um, you just can't grow and do it. It's fine if it's just a couple of bottles here and there, but when you start to grow, it's not fine anymore. So it, this, is, this is a growth story, and I love to see stuff like this. Um, as I mentioned, I've been a customer of the juice, buying it for a couple of months now, so I'm very well familiar, and it's an honor for me to uh, do a review. Nevertheless, I'm going to give you an honest review. Uh, and again, you can't, you can't go national and sell premium juice in, in, a, in a bottle like this and much longer. So why wait for regulation? What they did was they stopped making the juice the way it was. They went to laboratory uh, manufacturing, laboratory testing, 30 mil glass bottles, uh, childproof caps. They went to uh, heat shrink seals on every bottle. So that's quality control. Also, they went to, as a laboratory product, it's got a batch number on every bottle. It's got a manufacturing date on every bottle. It's also got a warning label and ingredients label. So let me go ahead and show you. This is the logo. It's a cute little cartoon strawberry chopped in half with a smile and the eyeballs. Okay, so this is follow us on Instagram at turn, uh, turnt vidco. That's T U R N T. And it's a 70 30 VGPG mix. Oh, my God, I'm getting clamped over here. Sorry about that. So the warning label says, crafted on Long Island, New York, warning, this product may contain nicotine, keep out of reach of children and pets, vape safe. Made with only the finest ingredients, including nicotine, propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, natural and artificial flavorings. That takes care of safety, quality control. Now, as far as the company goes, they're in one shop and then they're actually in about a dozen shops in Long Island and some other states and they're going to be exhibiting down in Miami, Florida. They're bringing about 5,000 bottles of juice down there. There's four flavors of Turnt Vape Co. juice and I'm going to drip three of them and vape one in a tank because I prefer that flavor in a tank. So the first flavor, let me read it to you. This is Grammy's AP. Grammy's Apple Pie. Just like Grandma used to make, a freshly baked cinnamon apple pie drizzled with caramel and topped with whipped cream. Grammy's Apple Pie. It is decadent. It is rich. It is delicious. It's, it's rich. It's a, it's a dessert flavor. The hotter it is, the better I like it. The warmer the vape, the better this tastes. It tastes great at 30, 40 watts. It tastes even better at 60 watts. It tastes phenomenal at 80 to 100 watts. I'm rocking it right now at 97 just because. Somewhere, I like, I like a hot vape if it's a nice dessert, cut the dessert vape. Anyway, here we go. It's baked apple, not tart green apple, baked apple. Caramel is that nice, like the, the dripping, that when the, the apple drips down the bottom and it caramelizes, it's that caramel. It's got that pie crust that's wholesome and, uh, and, and like that flaky golden pie crust that you, that you get in a biteful and, um, and a hint of cinnamon and then it does have whipped cream. So it's almost like you can imagine you just scooped up in a huge forkful you got the apple there. You got the caramelized drippings. You got you got a nice a nice bunch of that flaky golden crust, and then and then whipped cream in the background, and it's just so nice. All the flavors are in there. All the flavors are perfectly balanced. No one flavor is overpowering the others. Very well done. Delicious.
This juice is good in a tank. It's phenomenal dripping. Uh, the hotter the better for me. But whether you got an ice stick 50 watt and you're, and you're doing a, a tank, arctic or, or a sub ohm tank, or whether you're dripping it, I happen to be rocking a set of Clapton coils. That's how I like to roll. Especially for a nice, tasty dessert vape, the hotter the better for me. Anyway, that, that is delicious. Num num. Spot on, exactly what it says. And you know, surprisingly, for, for 30 PG, it doesn't give me any throat hit. Um, I don't know why that is, it's just uh, it's fine. It's fine dripping, 100 watts, no problem. I'm not lying to you. 96 watts. Look, just because I'm a fan of the juice doesn't mean I'm not going to give it an honest review and be very critical. There were a lot of flavors. They chose the four. They narrowed it down to just four, uh, which was a smart move to make. Uh, some of the other flavors were nice, but I don't go much for orange creamsicle. I, I'm not a big guy for, for certain other flavors that they had. But these were my four top, and I have two of them are my absolute favorites. Grammy's apple pie, absolute favorite. I love that. Um, I'll vape that right after dinner. That's my dessert. Next we have PBS, Public Broadcasting System. No, it's uh, <laughs> Peanut Butter S'mores. Peanut Butter S'mores. This is rich. This is decadent. This is my favorite juice flavor from uh, Turnt Vape Co. And I'm vaping them in order of uh, which one is bolder than the next. So, uh, And I am happen to be rocking my Golden Greek mod, which is a hybrid style mod with my Royal Hunter RDA on top of it. Look how perfectly those were just meant for each other. And just a regular build, like a 6-wrap, 22-gauge, maybe 24-gauge, I forget, but um, nothing super aggressive there. I'm going to drip this while I read it. Peanut butter s'mores, creamy peanut butter together with melted dark chocolate pressed between layers of graham cracker and fluffy marshmallows. So I go camping a couple of times every summer with my wife and kids. My kids demand s'mores. They don't just like, can we have s'mores? They, they fucking demand that that we have s'mores. And uh, in fact, in our fire pit in the backyard, we always do s'mores also. It's a nice summer treat for us, a nice dessert thing, and the kids love it. And when I vape on this, it literally gives me that, those images flash through my brain when I hit this. Mm. One after the next, what hits me first is that dark chocolate. Not a milk chocolate, a dark chocolate nice and rich and deep and earthy with peanut butter, a hint of peanut butter, not an overpowering peanut butter, just a hint. It's in there in just the right balance. Then I get that graham cracker, no cinnamon, just graham cracker, that nice wholesome goodness, that, that, that crunchy bite that you get in a s'more, and then you get that marshmallow, fluffy marshmallow. Yeah, it's actually, it's got a little bit of smoky. I don't know if I'm imagining it or not, but this evokes like when you get that marshmallow off that stick that you've roasted and you've, you've, you've patiently turned it till it's like nice and golden toasty and, and all, all like drooling and you put that right on the chocolate and you slap that graham cracker on the top and you take that skewer out and you just, ah, you bite right into it. That's what this is like vaping on. is even better because you don't get all that sugar from eating an actual s'more. Now I can vape it instead. This is so good. This is so yummy. Hmm. Spot on. It's delicious in a tank. I prefer it dripping. I've done both. Um, the hotter the better for this one also. The hotter it is, the more I feel like it just came off that fire. And that is that is delicious. I'll be out at a vape shop somewhere and and I'll smell the vapor from somebody else. I'll be like, you're vaping PBS, aren't you? Because you just, you smell that, that peanut butter, that chocolate, and it just like starts, I start salivating. But it's so good. It literally evokes images in my brain of sitting around the campfire and having s'mores. So if that's your kind of vape, you will like that. Dialed in perfectly on each of the flavors so that you get them and, 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 and they're balanced. All right, the next one, I'm vaping it in a tank at 50 watts. This is Triple X. Triple X. All right, Triple X flavor characteristic is, I know what it is. I want to read it. 
but they provided. A sweet, refreshing blend of ripe blueberries, acai, and pomegranate. Um, and spot on. It's not that baked, custardy blueberry taste. It's the fresh berry blueberry uh, flavoring, if you know what I'm talking about. Pomegranate and acai berry, it, it just has that nice citrusy berry, uh, fresh berry taste and flavor to it. Hmm, so good. It's, it, it really is refreshing. It's so light. It's so refreshing. It's just got right the right balance of citrusy, sharp berry, like that tartness of berry, uh, combined with sweet. It's nice and light. Um, I'm vaping it in an Arctic tank because I feel it, it's got the best flavor. The Arctic really opens that up. I'm not plugging the Arctic. I'm just saying I drip and I don't get as much flavor. It's maybe too hot. There's subtle flavors and hints in here that you really want to get, and a nice sub-tank. Didn't vape as well in the, uh, in the Kanger sub-tank. I've, I've vaped through many tanks of this. This is, this is like my favorite driving vape as I'm chilling out and driving along, especially in the springtime, because um, it's nice and refreshing, and it reminds me of spring. Um, I would say this is, this is like a toned-down version. If you like Space Jam Andromeda, but you felt that Space Jam Andromeda, which is delicious and very uh, popular, I almost felt it, it, it was, it's too aromatic, it's too, it's too flavorful. This is a toned down version similar to that and it has some of the same flavorings in it. Um, I like this better uh, because I don't want all of that flavor. Uh, yeah, that's all. And, and I, I vape a lot of Space Jam Andromeda when I first started vaping in like Nautilus tanks. That was like my go-to vape for a while. So that is Triple X by Turnt Vape Co. and uh, I'm going to hit it again. Like, wow. Uh, I had originally gotten a bottle like this. This is probably my second or third bottle of Triple X. Uh, I love it. And I was dripping it. And then one day I was at that shop, uh, Sunrise Vapor, and they had them set up when the Arctic first came out and the iStick 50 watt first came out. And they had it set up on that. And they were like, have you tried Triple X? I said, yeah, I, I vape that all the time. I love it. And they were like, try it in a tank. And I was like, nah, you know, don't worry about it. I'm good. I, I, I vaped it. I know what it tastes like. They were like, no, bro you got to try this in the Arctic tank at 50 watts, and I did, and it just, it brought out qualities of flavor that I hadn't even known were in there. So, between 40 and 60 watts is ideal, I feel, in my opinion, but vape however you want to vape. You want to drip it at 150 watts and you like that, God bless you. Maybe there's stuff in there that, that I don't know about. Um, comment down below and tell me, please, but that's how I like it. Uh, in a tank between 40 to 60 watts. Right now I'm at 50, and that's that's <clears throat> that one does give me a throat hit just because it's got the citrusy um, tartness hits me, gives me some throat hit. It's not unpleasant. It's it's not as bad as a throat hit that that Marlboros used to give me. Um, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's delicious. Um, I prefer it in a tank. And when I dripped it, it gave me a little bit more throat hit. So that's my criticism on that. Um, it's not really criticism. I would say that that one possibly should be higher VG. Uh, it, it, like if you're going to drip it, I would I would love to see that in, in an 80 VG, maybe an 85 VG would be maybe balance out that throat hit from the tartness. And then the last, you know, that's my suggestion if you guys can make that change, but that, that's only one customer. Um, everybody else probably likes it the way it is. Oh, I'm about to vape and I didn't even tell you what I'm vaping on. First, let me brag. Continuous current Manhattan V2. I'm very proud that I own some fine authentics these days and mech mods. And I've got this built on a mutation version 3, a simple 6 wrap 24 gauge, nothing aggressive there, around a 0.2 something, between 0.2 and 0.3, something like that. I checked it on the own read, I just don't know offhand. Hmm. Really nice. Okay, this is Rico. Rico is a bright key lime blend rounded out with the decadence of Bavarian cream. It's spot on exactly what it says it is. There's nothing in there that, that, that it doesn't say it is. And it's everything it says it in. It, it is. It's, it's lime. It's not lemon. It's lime. <laughs> it's not just lime. It's key lime. Like, like the key lime pie. It's got that. It's not sweet. 
maybe like the barest hint of sweet um, just to balance out the lime. But that hits you. It's refreshing. It's light. It's beautiful for spring. The sun's out. I can't, look, I wasn't big. I was smoking last summer. This summer coming around, I can't see myself chilling at the beach or hanging out around the pool or in 95 degree heat. I'm not going to be doing much custards. I'm probably going to be vaping more of these type flavors like the berry, like the, the lime. It's refreshing. It's like when you when, when spring hits and you want to you really want a gin and tonic with, uh, uh, with, with Bombay Sapphire. That's a nice drink for the springtime. This is a nice springtime vape. It's a cool vape. It's a cool, refreshing flavor. Light. And they even say it. So it's exactly what the description is, which is one thing I look for in juice. It's nice. All right, it's balanced. And that Bavarian cream is there. Very light, mild hints of it, uh, but it's there, and it, and it kind of takes out the rough edge of the lime, smooths it out a little bit, so it makes it nice and pleasant. This one gives me a little bit of throat hit also, naturally, because of the lime. And I like to drip it, and I've had it in a tank, and I like to drip it better. So um, there you go, four flavors. you got Grammy's apple pie. Uh, just like Grammy used to make. You've got peanut butter s'mores, you've got triple X pomegranate blueberry and acai berry, and you've got uh, Rico, which is a key lime pie and Bavarian cream. The Bavarian cream is in there, it's on the exhale. It kind of like that sharp line comes in uh, and, and, and then all of a sudden it smooths it out and makes it nice and smooth on the exhale. Um, well done. I don't know how flavor manufacturers do this juice. Manu I don't know how juice makers do this, but they do it, and it's spot on. So here we go. Overall, um, I don't have a rating system other than it's great. I fucking like it. Um, if you like these flavor characteristics that I've described, get it. You won't be disappointed. Um, if you don't like lemonades and limes and citrusy stuff, don't get Rico. If you don't like... Uh, fresh berries with a little bit of tart. Uh, don't get triple X, but if you like the berries, um, get that. No matter who you are, everybody out there should try peanut butter s'mores. It's phenomenal. If, if you never thought you would like something like that, try it. <laughs> That'll surprise you. That is my favorite one out of all four of them. And um, Anyway, that's my review, and that's the story about Turnt Vape Co. Look for really big things to come, and, um, and how's that for an expansion story and a growth story? You're never a prophet in your hometown. I noticed one thing. It's all well and good when the little guy's growing and he's starting to gain popularity and everybody knows him as this. $25 for 60 mils of juice, that's awesome. Um, let's get it out there. It's a great value. It's a great bargain. That's no longer on the table. Okay? You couldn't have these bottles that are not childproof. You couldn't have that. Uh, you can't grow and make mass production without having the quality control you need. So that's out. And that's the little guy we knew. And this is in, and this is the big premium juice company that they've grown into. And with that comes mass production, laboratory quality, warning labels, childproof caps, as well as, hey, you don't get 60 mils anymore for 25 bucks. You get 30 mils for around, I don't know what they cost retail, but I would imagine somewhere it's a premium juice. It is a quality premium juice. So my suggestion is just because we knew them as this doesn't mean they have to stay as this. Bridge the gap. You're growing. I'm growing. Everybody's growing. This no longer on the table. Say goodbye to that. And consider it this way. You got in early on a really, really cool company, and you got to know them from ground floor, and you got to appreciate who they were and they eliminated all the other flavors and just went with their lead-off go-to flavors here and the growth to come. Um, so let's bridge that mental gap from the guys that we knew uh, in high school who were now really successful, really popular, and that may be you too. Um, you watched success and growth happen before your very eyes. Very exciting. Very, very, very exciting stuff. Right here in my local backyard in Seaford, New York.